in the late 80s and early 90s when I was living in Pittsburgh, my art, friends of mine, we were artists, we would go into abandoned factories, mills, a lot of the steel mills were still erect at that time, but they were completely empty. Uh, for instance, an area of, of the city was the south side slopes that had all these wonderful houses and neighborhoods that were completely empty now because the factory down at the bottom of the hill closed. So those were very fertile grounds to explore. The intent was to build large sculptures out of whatever could be found in the, in the structure. So we didn't bring any material in. We would go in, take the piping out, uh, rip walls apart, whatever it would be, to create a character. Normally a character that may have to do with the property. Exploring those factories, what you would find when you go in was very haunting because it would look like the, the workers just didn't come back to work the next day. So you would think that the factory was closed and this was some kind of an official thing, but reality looked like, you know, the lockers would still have clothes in them, coffee cups would still be on desks, and it was really uh, penetrating, really powerful. Because of the loss of, in my family, blue collar uh, workers, my dad and his father were both, both lost in blue collar accidents, that really resonated with me. To go into the houses, to see the empty houses, to see the factories in those states. A feeling that there was, a, there was a, just a disregard for a whole society or a whole s section of the population. Because once their jobs were gone, there was just nothing for them, right? They're, they're gone, their houses have been taken apart, and I'm going to take some of those memories by virtue of the fact that they lived on these floors and save those memories or re repurpose those memories. I really feel strongly that the artwork has those people's lives in it. I'm working with material that they walked on for 20 years that someone lived on, and I really feel like that comes through. I'm not necessarily sure it was premeditated by me, but I know that the process of working with recycled material, and especially domestic recycled material, was kind of like inherent, like it was just automatic. Working with someone's memory, meaning, you know, grandmother lived on this floor, or a baby's room, or whatever, that really, like I felt like it was uh, tantamount to what, what I was feeling when I decided to work with the material or discover the material. Right, so I'm taking what's lost, something beautiful in my mind, and I'm turning it into a, a gain because I believe that that's what art and process of art can do in any art form. Like when you're doing the making, you're transforming.